Well, MCU fans, I have got great news. CBR has exclusive footage from the Eternals that hasn't been seen yet. This is a special broadcast of Monarch News Network preempting your normal YouTube viewing. We've received notice that Godzilla has engaged with a beast known only as Kong. We will update you on the story as it progresses. Our reports from the scene tell us that- You know, I'm gonna stop doing that voice. Our reports from the scene tell us that Skull Island's native monster, Kong, has indeed struck his first blow against the mighty Godzilla, famous for recently supplanting King Ghidorah as the king of the monsters. Now, for unknown reasons, it appears that Godzilla has turned on humanity, meaning that Kong is now our only hope until our giant fighting robot division gets proper funding. While this opening strike makes it seem like Kong has the upper hand, our Monster Research Division tells us that things may be more complicated than they appear. Let's look at the stats. Kong was last seen in 1973 on Skull Island, where he reigned supreme as the greatest of the island's many monsters. His giant size relative to other monsters on the island and the human observers combined with his intelligence and fighting skills made him seem formidable. Since then, it appears that he has grown exponentially until he has reached a size and strength similar to Godzilla's. This does not mean that the pair are evenly matched. Our team of researchers have spent the seven years since Godzilla's original appearance analyzing every bit of information we have on him. It does not look good. His razor-sharp claws and teeth, his near-impenetrable skin, and his powerful tail all make him an alpha predator, even among alpha predators. Not only that, but he is a walking nuclear reactor capable of firing an intense atomic breath that can melt steel like butter. So that first punch will likely be the only one he lands on Godzilla. We have run thousands of simulations on this fight and it seems certain that the only outcome will be that Kong loses. All hope is not lost though. The Monster Archaeology Department of Cambridge University has recently discovered artifacts that could point to an advantage for Kong over the current King of Monsters. The scientific community now all agrees that the planet Earth is hollow and filled with monstrous titans who roamed hundreds of millions of years ago before they entered hibernation, likely due to the arrival of the three-headed alien dragon. This is all common knowledge at this point. What we don't know is Kong's place in history. While most of the monsters we've encountered over the years have awakened from hibernation, Kong was alive and well when he was discovered on Skull Island. The battles between Rodan, Mothra, King Ghidorah, and Godzilla are all part of our shared history now, but historians will debate over where Kong fits in. While some would claim that he was a new titan born due to a freak mutation, new evidence now points to the contrary. A cave painting recently excavated by an archaeological expedition shows a clear image of Godzilla fighting a giant ape that looks exactly like Kong. While some claim that this meant Kong was as ancient as the other titans, a close inspection reveals this not to be the case. The cave painting clearly shows a Kong the same size as Godzilla, while our Kong was much smaller than Godzilla in the 1970s. That means it's quite likely that Kong is the latest in a long line of great apes who have protected humanity from threats like the Skull Crawlers. The current Kong's existence also proves another thing, that the ancient Kong defeated Godzilla millions of years ago. To date, no monster who has gone up against Godzilla has been spared by him. If an ancient ancestor of Kong's stood up to Godzilla and lived long enough to sire a son, that means he must have found a way to defeat the most powerful titan we have ever seen. So how did this ancient ancestor of Kong's manage to defeat Godzilla so many eons ago? Well, the undisputed greatest mind of our age, Adam Savage of the Mythbusters, has been running an experiment that may explain how both the Kongs of past and present could take Godzilla down. Mr. Savage, a recognized expert on the monsters of the Pacific Rim, has recently been running tests on remains left by Godzilla over the years. He was trying to prove that a spike from Godzilla's back could pierce his flesh. After running 3,000 experiments using biological material ripped from Godzilla during his many confrontations over the years, Savage did prove that this was possible. These are not the only interesting results that he has discovered. The spikes are also highly resistant to nuclear radiation similar to Godzilla's atomic breath. He has thus theorized that the ancient Kong was able to construct a rudimentary axe out of pieces he pounded off of Godzilla to take the ancient monster down, returning him to his oceanic slumber. If our Titan learns this lesson, he will likely be able to deflect Godzilla's most powerful attack and pierce his flesh. 
He could even do the unthinkable and slay the Titan once and for all. Of course, Godzilla still has an obvious advantage. If he has already faced down the axe of a mighty Kong, then he may be ready for such a tactic if it comes again. Godzilla has already proven himself against many monsters that challenged him earlier in his long life. He will have to prove himself faster, stronger, and smarter than not only the Kongs before him, but beasts like King Ghidorah too. If he does manage to take the King of the Monsters down, he will finally be able to crown himself King Kong. Time will tell how this fateful encounter of Titans will go. Hopefully, you can now return to your lives in peace and stop spreading ridiculous and unfounded rumors about a giant mechanized Godzilla that is rampaging across the planet. There is no proof that this mecha Godzilla is real and you can all trust Monarch because we are a secret government organization that has lied to you about the existence of monsters since 1946. Monarch will now leave you to your normal YouTube experience. We apologize for the interruption. Wow, I don't know about you, but that Eternals footage was the best I've ever seen from Marvel. I feel sorry for anyone who missed what has to be hands down the best trailer of all time. 